Hey guys, this is Wanda the Traveling Dutchie coming right at you from Costa Rica with today's super exciting news. I have decided to start an Airbnb property here in Costa Rica. Um, obviously money in the bank is not doing anything so I might as well protect my money from inflation and actually buy an investment property. So um, I'm not officially the owner yet. I'm in the apartment building and there's some paperwork to do. Um, but hopefully in two, three days, I will be the owner. I'm gonna show you. It's uh, So it's a two bedroom apartment that I actually bought. And right now it's very uninspiring because obviously everything is just white and empty behind me and you see the kitchen it's all nice and modern and new so it's a condo inside like a condominium complex so it has a gorgeous pool the pool has an amazing view the apartment itself has a nice view as well let me see if i can show you more or less you can't really see the mountains but there's mountains there so what the goal is is to make it all first make it all cozy and, and and warm and livable so that everybody wants to book this apartment of course the reason i picked this particular apartment is because it has the best location so it's located in guachipilin de escasu if you're not familiar that's the san jose area of costa rica and we're just like 10 minutes away from uh, Multiplaza, a very famous mall, and we're super close to all like restaurants, shopping. And then on the other side, we're also 10 minutes away from famous Lindora Santana, which also has a lot of, you know, shopping, restaurants, bar. We're also close to uh, Avenida Escazú with that like a famous hospital called Sima. It's just, I mean, it could, the location couldn't go any better. Of course, I also did my research because there is an apartment um, in this same building uh, that is also being rented out on Airbnb. So I read the reviews and everybody is saying that the location is to die for. So that's great. Another note, this particular apartment isn't nice at all. It's like not decorated nicely. And well, you know, I think I'm going to you know, I'm gonna be able to improve on that. And um, so let me show you around. Again, there's not much to see yet, but it will give you an idea. So this is the bedroom, the master bedroom. And you know, everything is nice, clean, modern. So what I wanna do is uh, make sure that both bedrooms are equally as nice and comfortable so that, you know, if two couples come, you don't get the issue of, uh, oh, why do they get the master bedroom and we're in the kids' room, <laughs> you know? So I wanna make it nice. I, I plan on buying everything uh, high quality. So, um, you know, obviously cheap buy means that I have to replace it in an in a year or so. So I want to share my journey with you of everything I learned along the way. I've already learned so much, just the process of um, buying this property because I have my bank account in the United States. Um, so I can already give you some great tips on, you know, when you're buying property uh, as a foreigner in Costa Rica, how that all works. I want to, you know, you know, share with you how I'm going to create this unit into a profit making machine <laughs> you know i've done so much research on uh airbnb to make your you know proper property successful like obviously the biggest the biggest thing you need to do is be a good host and offer excellent customer service luckily i have been in hospitality my entire life so i plan on doing the best i can to make all my guests super happy obviously i want to share with you how i decorate it but more importantly the return of investment right like how much money am i making the first three months the first six months after a year what have i learned uh, all these things i want to share with you there's going to be a whole bunch of videos i'm going to make like a different 
playlists so that I actually have the specific videos on my Airbnb investment property in Costa Rica. So if you're interested to see my journey, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And if you click that little bell icon, you actually receive a notification every time I upload a new video. So, I mean, I think it's very important to, nowadays especially, to invest in real estate because investing in real estate, it's often a safe bet, right? So most people actually want to be at the beach and I did as well. However, right now the prices for real estate at the beach in Costa Rica is just not something that I want to pay <laughs> because it's like, you know, units are now going for way over their value. So um, I actually for a second there decided like to not invest in real estate and I thought of doing different investments. But then my significant other actually uh, inspired me to look at the San Jose area. I have another friend that has two Airbnbs in the San Jose area as well and they're all doing super, super well. So obviously there's a great market for this area as well. Costa Rica is not only just about beach. So that's gonna be so exciting. I can't wait. I need to wait three more days until this place is fine. Um, some paperwork and some stuff stuck, you know, as always, obviously. But um, yeah, like be sure to follow me in my journey as an Airbnb host in Costa Rica. If you're thinking of, you know, investing in Costa Rica, wow, um, there's so much opportunity here. Uh, whether you, you know, rent it out long term or you want to do what I do on Airbnb. The reason why I do that is because I did all the calculations and at the end of the day, you get a bigger return of investment if you do the Airbnb model. Of course, it's a lot more work, right? But I like it. It's like another project I'm really excited about. So anyhow, I'm going to stop rambling now and um, I'm going to keep you up to date on how everything is going. I'm actually going to um, a furniture store right now. I, I'm here actually to, to measure everything so I can start making this place uh, wonderful for my guests. Yay! All right. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Trump Costa Rica. Pura Vida!